Hello everybody, Waffle Time here. The dungeon holds a lot of pretty sweet loot, including one of the only worthy pre-hard mode sets of ranger armor. It also holds a lot of spells, a lot of new mobs, and even plenty of dungeon chests to explore through. There's only one true thing standing between you and all of this, and that is the pre-hard mode boss Skeletron, who can be quite tricky in master mode. To prepare for this fight, you'll need proper armor and accessories, weapons, buff potions, and lastly an arena to suit the fight. Now let's start with your armor. You'll want Crimtain or Shadow Armor depending on what your world provides at the very least. If you have the patience to go grind for some Hellstone at this point, that's fantastic and it'll help a lot, but it's no problem if all you have is your Shadow or Crimtain Armor. They all honestly work as long as you're on top of dodging attacks. As for your accessories, I highly recommend either the Brain of Confusion or the Worm Scarf depending on what your world holds, the Shield of Cthulhu, a jump boosting item such as the Rockets or a Cloud in a Bottle, and a pair of Hermes Boots. Better yet, to save an accessory slot, you can even combine your Hermes and Rocket Boots into some Spectre Boots if you wish. Other than that, anything that makes you faster or makes your health regenerate faster will do great. Also, I'm sure this goes without saying, but definitely use and abuse the Reforge system with your Goblin Tinkerer if you have access to him to get warding on all of your accessories. The defense stacks up very easily and can be extraordinarily helpful in beating bosses. Oh yeah, and also having a hook on deck could prove to be extremely useful, as this boss can stun lock you if you aren't careful. Let's move on to weapons. Weapons are quite simple in this context. You'll want either the mini shark or the quad barrel shotgun. They're both extremely strong pre-hard mode weapons that could take care of this boss rather easily. This is a boss you'll definitely want to keep your distance from, so either one's going to work great. Bones McGee can definitely pack a punch up close. The quad barrel shotgun, however, is pretty hard to use from far, so if you're not confident about your dodging abilities, there's no harm in playing it safe with the mini shark. One more thing as well is if you've beaten the queen bee already, bee nades and other bee weapons also work fantastic on him. Just keep your distance and you'll be good. The next step is to take care of your buff potions. As usual, they are an absolute godsend and extraordinarily help with these high intensity boss fights. For buff potions, I used Iron Skin, Endurance, Regeneration, Swiftness, and Wrath. I also ate some food for the well-fed buff. If you end up using a bow and arrow for this fight, definitely invest in making a handful of archery potions. Night Owl potions are nice for lighting things up, so they're totally optional, but can be really helpful since this is a nighttime only boss. Having taken care of our armor, accessories, weapons, and buff potions, that leaves us with creating our arena, which is also pretty simple. With this boss, you'll want quite a bit of room to navigate around and be able to keep your distance from him, especially since he starts shooting really annoying long-range attacks that require some weaving. For this arena, I always build it right above the dungeon and make a rope up to my arena so I can talk to the old man and immediately jump up after summoning the curse. Other than that, a handful of rows of really long platforms will do you just fine. Everything goes especially well when you throw down some extra arena bits such as bonfires, sunflowers, or even heart lanterns if you have them. I also like to throw a handful of blocks down at the end of my arena because I have zero self-control and will fling myself off on accident and have to fight them on the ground, so if you're anything like me, blocks at the end of your arena would never hurt. Just make sure to not get cornered in them. At this point, you've officially taken care of everything except for Big Bones himself, so let's get straight to it. When you first summon him and get up to your arena, you'll notice he's quite simple. You just have to keep your distance and stay the living hell away from his head when it starts spinning. It really is pretty simple jumping, dodging, and dashing at first. This part is pretty self-explanatory, just a lot of bobbing and weaving and just getting around the skull. My suggestion is to take out both of the hands first, like don't even target the skull, just go straight for the hands. It makes the next stage of the boss fight very, very easy. The real action starts as soon as you break one of his hands, and it's only then when he starts shooting homing skulls at the player, which could be an absolute pain to get through. The best way to dodge these is to stay a pretty good distance away and try and jump over or dash in between the skulls. You gotta be careful though, sometimes the skulls have enough room to loop back around and hit you, so make sure you're aware of that. His homing attacks stop when his head starts spinning, so it's a pretty good grace period to go get some damage in, but if you get hit by his head during this attack, it does tremendous damage and can easily stun lock you, so absolutely be careful about going in close range on him while he's doing this attack. The skulls get much faster as his health goes down, but other than that, it's just simple dodging through the skulls and staying away from his spinning head that really matters. Make sure to make really good use of your Shield of Cthulhu, dodge through those skulls, don't get stunlocked when his head starts spinning, keep on gunning, and congratulations, you have single-handedly defeated Skeletron on Master Mode. Unfortunately, you guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to join our official Discord if you want to come chat with me. Link is in the description below. Thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.